Hey guys, Troy here with Seller.Tools and I wanted to cut this quick video together for you to highlight one of the most powerful features in the Seller.Tools platform and that is the keyword processor what we've got pulled up here. If you haven't seen it before, very powerful feature, but with its power sometimes comes a bit of an intimidation factor. So I want to make this very straightforward, very easy. Uh, so you get that competitive advantage when you're dealing with so much data, so much insight and so much potential revenue by getting this step right. So with that, I've got pulled up my keyword processor for a product that I'm managing in my account, which is an argan oil. And the way that I've arrived at this data, these keywords that are in my keyword processor is I've run an R2A on a top competitor. So I've run seller.tools reverse ASIN search against a top competitor, getting all keywords, all, all powerful keywords that they rank for. And it has initiated now the process for me to process those keywords. And really the, the main objective by utilizing the keyword processor, what we're trying to do is add or, or determine relevancy for keywords. Any sort of input, whether it is running an R2A, running a last search, um, manual input, search term reports for PPC, anytime you put keywords in to seller.tools, we want to make sure that, hey, you're not putting any junk keywords in that you have subjectively determined that they're relevant or not for your product. So with that, let's jump into the example I've got ready for you. So first things first, from a top down, one of the first things that you'll notice is in our undecided column, keywords that we need to make some decisions on, you'll notice that many of these are blue. And if I scroll down, there is a good portion that are also orange. And based on our keyword color legend, uh, what we know is that those that are in blue, we're currently indexed for, and those that are in orange, we are not indexed for. So that's major insight as kind of a snapshot of performance because if we're indexed, we get visibility, visibility translates into sales. So more often than not, those keywords that we're indexed for were typically relevant. Those are typical, re typically relevant keywords for our product. So the way that we can take a look at these words and then the subsequent phrases, because you'll notice as I hover over each one, you'll get a slew of phrases utilizing that keyword is now we want to determine relevancy or whether that word is irrelevant. So as an example, again, starting with these keywords that I'm already indexed for, more often than not, I'm gonna determine that they're relevant. So absorb, my product's in argan oil. So in absorbent oil, of course, uh, again, I'm already indexed for it. And the way that we determine or tell seller tools, hey, I'm relevant for this keyword, is by shuffling it to the relevant column. And you can see that it adds it to that queue there as well. So I'm gonna review just a few more of these on a case by case, so aging, yeah, anti-aging, yep, right up my alley for my type of product. What I'm interested in, so beard, beard oil, of course, that's right in the pocket. Again, I'm acutely aware of my product, my brand, uh, as you should be, of course, when you're completing this exercise. If not, it's a good way to make sure that you are. And so you determine relevancy at the word and phrase level best. Of, of course, I'm gonna go ahead and use that because I'm indexed for it. Again, keep that in mind. What you can easily do, and this is gonna be a shorthand, this is a takeaway from this video, is that you can use the bulk functionality if you really wanna do this the lazy way. Now, keep this in your hip pocket, but don't rely on this, is that you can easily move keywords that you're indexed for to relevant, and those that you're not indexed for to irrelevant. That can be done, but again, it's a snapshot of where you're at right now. You could very well be gobbling up new keywords to index for, and miss that by not going through this and carefully reviewing keywords. So the way that we can do that is to bulk add index keywords by hovering over the bulk um, bulk option here under relevant and moving all indexed to relevant and non-indexed to irrelevant. So that's again, a takeaway from this video. If you're really short on time, if you really just don't wanna complete this exercise, am I gonna recommend you do that? Absolutely not. Take the time to review your keywords, get them right, because it's a crucial step. Now that brings me to one of my other key and important takeaways. I'm gonna scroll down to some of the non-index keywords I need to make some decisions on. So if we take a look, keep in mind it's numbers first, and then it's gonna run into um, um, uh, alphabetical order. So you'll see okay, all the numbers here, and then it's gonna jump into um, A to Z for additional keywords that we are not indexed for. So we take a look at a few of these. As an example, again, I know my product, I know the sizes of various products. So like one ounce, I know that's really popular, uh, popular size for other argan oils. 100 is often a reflection of, um, of the purity of the product. So those are things I actually want to, to determine that they are relevant because I want them on my radar. And so again, I can move these non-index keywords over to relevant by just clicking the arrow and then it drops it into my relevant column here at the top. So it's as easy 
is that. Now, this other takeaway that I want to share with you is if you're on the fence, if there's any uncertainty where there's a, a keyword, let's say that you're just really not sure, is this relevant right now? It may be relevant in the future. The de facto answer, the default way of approaching that keyword is determine that it's relevant. And the way that you can keep an eye on it is, of course, you can tag it in Seller.Tools, you can star it to keep it on top, on top or fixed in your keyword manager to, to keep ongoing visibility and really actively track that keyword. But if you're ever in doubt, I'm gonna encourage you to mark that keyword relevant because it's better to keep it on your radar than to archive it or keep it out of your, um, out of your pur purview, really, uh, in terms of what you're actively managing. So it's really as simple as that. Take the time to do the keyword processor right. I'm going to again encourage you to review each one. Uh, if you want to use the bulk features, go ahead and do that. But keep in mind the implications. Really when you have indexing, as is often the case, this isn't just unique to the keyword processor, it's really a snapshot of how you're performing right now. You of course want to keep overperforming. You want to outpace the competition, leverage this to its fullest. Because the other beauty of this is that when I actually ran the R2A to arrive at utilizing the keyword processor, I found more than 2,000 keywords. And the beauty of the keyword processor is it actually consolidates. I don't have to make 2,000 decisions. It consolidates and says, hey, these, key these keywords are used consistently throughout these phrases, and we only need you to make that decision once now, and then you never have to make that decision again in the future. And it leverages other exclusive features in Seller.Tools like automatic keyword harvesting. Because you're telling Seller.Tools and effectively Amazon, hey, I'm relevant for these keywords, continue to serve those to me on an ongoing basis so you can leverage that feature to its fullest. So with that, guys, I think that empowers you to leverage the keyword processor. Keep in mind what we've gone over in terms of indexing, in terms of bulking, keeping that in your hip pocket. If you want to bulk add or shift keywords, if you're ever uncertain, determine relevancy and then manage it, whether it's tagging, whether it's starring in your keyword manager. Uh, if you're ever on the fence, just determine relevancy. That's my takeaway for you. But leverage this feature to its fullest. Allow it to save you time crunching really thousands of data points, giving you a competitive advantage. And hopefully at the end of the day, translating into more revenue. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. Leave me any comments, questions. Love to see that from you guys and take care.